Hey guys, uh, I didn't plan on doing a video today, but I realized that I haven't done one in a while, so I decided that I would take you along in this journey that I'm in right now of taking this drill press apart and kind of uh, restoring it. I'm going to give it a new paint job, try to take some of the rust off of it and make it run a little bit better. Now this is a pretty old drill press. Uh, this I got out of my grandpa's barn. Uh, he used this for a job site a long time ago. Didn't want to bring his big floor standing drill press, so bought this, and it's sat in the barn after that job wasn't used again. So he gave it to me. It's been collecting rust for a long time, and uh, I've been using it quite a bit for the past few years, but I think it needs to just be cleaned up and look a little bit nicer. So that's what I'm going right, to do. So as you can see, uh, I've already taken quite a bit off of it. I've taken the top off of it here where the belt goes uh, and with the door and um, I have taken the entire chuck out uh, along with the whatever pull down mechanism you call this. Uh, I've taken the switch out. I might rewire that. I might put a new switch in. I'm not sure yet. I might just leave it. Uh, I've taken this front pulley out and uh, now I'm ready to take off the motor. So I'm going to get to that. Now I want to take this big head off of it, if you call it that. And so what I'm going to be doing is I believe these are the set screws that center it in here. So I'm just going to loosen them on all sides. Well, actually, I'm not sure if they're on all sides. Nope, looks like they're just on two sides. And looks like this will just slide off. I might have to loosen these a little bit more. Oh, and just shake it and there it goes. There we go. It's moving. Alright, and I'm just going to take all these out. Alright, and there we go. Now, sorry about the lighting in here, but I'm in the garage and it is about 10 degrees outside, so I'm really not willing to uh, open up the garage door. But I've got some red paint and I'm going to paint the base and the cover for the pulleys uh, with this paint. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I've just been down here cleaning everything up. I've been putting some grease in the bearings to make sure that they spin nice. And this is actually a pretty decent setup. Now this would be a pretty cheap uh, drill press at the time it was bought, but it's built relatively well. Uh, so I'm actually pretty surprised at uh, how the bearings have lasted. As you can see, this one looks pretty much new, uh, and it's not. It's pretty old. So. I think I'm just going to have to clean this up a bit more, and you can see a lot of rust on here, which I've got to get off. Alright, now everything is still a mess down here, uh, but I've been working on cleaning this post up on the drill press, and it's come along pretty good. I put quite a bit of elbow grease into it, so now I'm going to protect it with some Shield T9. Now. Uh, if I didn't have, if you don't have this and you have paste wax, that will work just as good. Um, but I like this. Uh, it comes in this can, easy to apply, and uh, it's pretty pretty quick, and it's not too labor in labor intensive. I'm just gonna spray a little on, and then I'm gonna rub it around. I'll do a little bit more later. Now also on this motor is this little cover for the capacitor that sits on the side and I think I'm going to take this and spray paint it chrome. Alright, so the paint is still a little bit wet but it's dry enough now to work with so I'm, I've been putting this post on and I have just this one last bolt to tighten up 
in order to secure it. And now that will hold it tight. And now I'm just preparing to put this table here back on the uh, post of the drill press, but I've got to clean this out because as you can see, it's pretty dirty in here. And I'm pretty sure this is what made it run so hard before is all this gunk buildup in here. So I'm just going to make sure I clean it out on both sides really well. And, ooh, there we go. That side's pretty good. So, I'm pretty happy with that. So, that's good. Perfect. Alright. And we can take the motor and the switch, and we can lay these back on here. If I gave myself enough room. Alright, and I'm now getting ready to install these pieces. So let's go ahead, throw this up in here. And then sometimes you gotta twist this in order to get to get it in. And we will stick this right in here like that. And that looks pretty good pretty happy with that. So now we just have to install this spring mechanism. Right, and here is the final product. I'll give you a quick peek at it. Uh, there it is. I really like the red and how it makes this one corner of the shop pop. Before with this drill press being all dark uh, and rusty, it was not very appealing to look at, uh, but now I think it looks great. Now I really do like the um, chrome accents that I put on the sides here uh, and in the back. Those kind of those are kind of nice, and I'm super super excited about how much rust I got off of this thing. One thing you didn't see me do was take the rust off of here, uh, off of the chuck, and to do that I just took some sandpaper while this was running, held it up like this, and sanded it down, and then after that polished it out with some Shield T9 uh, and a rag. And that seemed to work really well and it's going to keep it protected. And I also used the Shield T9 and um, the sandpaper method on this back post here, uh, only that was a lot bigger and more labor intensive because that doesn't spin itself. So um, this back post, before I started uh, this project, it maybe had 90% uh, it was maybe 90% covered in rust, and now it's about 98% rust free. So maybe 2% of rust left on that, which excites me a ton uh, because, I mean, it just looks a lot better. So overall, I'm really pleased with how this came out, and I can't wait to get plenty of use out of this thing.